What's up guys, my name is Sam, you know me as the Mighty Salmon, and I am back. Uh, yesterday I brought you a, a bit of a troll video um, with uh, some guy rage quitting. I hope you all enjoyed that, it seemed to go down pretty well. I seemed to get plenty of likes on it and stuff, so thank you very much for your support on that. It's nice to be back. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm still a little bit full of cold, but at the same time, I am much better. Uh, I've got none of the issues sat. Here you can see I got and by a Colos Eduardo, and I'm laying this video out a little bit differently, just you know, changing it up a bit, seeing if this, this works for you, showing you a bit more of my club and what's going on. I think it gives you a little bit more insight into how I'm actually managing my team and stuff, rather than just showing you the matches, because I think the gameplay can get a little boring and you actually want to see what's going on. Uh, there's probably two or three episodes of this series left, so not long to go at all. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. It, it depends on um, how many games I've actually got left. I, I haven't counted them, but it's either four or six. Uh, so two or three episodes, because I do two games an episode. Uh, so after this series is finished, I'm really excited to bring you guys my Road to Million again, but in a completely different format. What I'm going to be doing is, uh, on a Tuesday and a Sunday, I am going to be bringing you a video showing you the players in my club that I'm using. Uh, the two team links are on my channel page, so if you go look on there, in the top right hand corner, uh, there's the links to the teams that I'm using. I'll also leave them in the description of this video so you can see what kind of team I'm going to be going uh, through my Road to Million with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play as many games as I possibly can uh, to try and score some nice goals. I'm going to take the most exciting game from the week and I'm going to do a commentary over that. Uh, I also might bring you a live commentary once a week if I have time, um, but it's really important that kind of my family's not around for that because I do play on my Xbox in the front room, and so if my family is around, it, it makes it very, very difficult to live commentate. Uh, so let's go and look at this game. This guy's got a full chemistry uh, US team, all non-res, but I was worried, not going to lie. He, he just, he seemed very confident with them he had a higher star rating than he should have done and as you can see in the 23rd minute I do concede this left me a little bit worried but at the same time I wasn't too worried because I had broken this guy down a couple of times and as you'll see here I do break him down with Oberfemi's superior pace to his bronze players that's all this is uh, he cuts inside with a nice little step and nice finesse uh, I'm going to spoil this game, I actually do lose and there's one more game that I lose throughout the series but I can't remember which game it will be uh, and that is partly the reason why this Road to Glory is so short, because I didn't really enjoy playing Russian League at all. Uh, if I were to do this again, which I may well do when Study Leaf starts, because whilst I'm going to have to spend a lot of time revising, I'm also going to have a bit more time to collect some gameplay and edit it and stuff. What I'm planning on doing is spending up until like 4pm just doing revision, and I, I wake up at about 8pm every day. Uh, sorry, not 8pm, 8am 8 8 every day. So that's a good, you know, si 10 hours, no, I'm not doing 10 hours of it. No, that is not 10 hours anyway, it's 8 hours. I'm stupid. Uh, as you can see, the losing hours there scoring against me, this guy gives me immense trouble throughout the game, and it's 2 2, and they decide, you know what, it's time to make some changes. I actually changed my formation and the players. I changed up to 4 3 1 2, because that seems to beat the 4 4 2 formation uh, fairly well. 4 3 2 1, however, does not. So I bring on Acuna, I believe. And I also will bring on Juvenile, and perhaps Lago Jr. It was going a bit fast for me. But here, he gets quite lucky to get the rebound, but a nice strike, so fairly unlucky for that not to go in. And Luzinaris is there on hand to put it away. Here, he breaks me down with Luzinaris again, gives it to Levesque, who runs down the wing. We'll cross it in for Luzinaris, and says our Navas does a pathetic job of defending there. Uh, I don't know what I could have done to defend that, to be honest, because I was just mashing X, which is the best thing to do when you're you getting crossed against. And at 4-2 down, I, I had given up at this point, because I was just so frustrated and angry, and straight off kickoff, you'll, you'll see me absolutely pathetically defend, and I even tried to bring the keeper out and everything, and just couldn't manage it, and Levesque, with the nice tidy finish. I'm struggling not to yawn here. I'm not even tired. What even is this? What even is life? But anyway. That's not going to be how the game ends. I do give this guy some fight. He scores from a corner. Uh, my keeper swan dives to nothing. As he scores with Boswell. And then the last goal of the game will indeed fall to me. 
Uh, some nice work from Thiago Dutra, Obafemi and Guerrero linking up. Guerrero pushing through with that pace and Banco. No, <laughs> Banco. There you go. Obafemi with the nice poacher finish. Quite cheap to score that really, but it was 6-3. I was going to take all I could and uh, that would be the end of the game. As you can see, I don't really deserve to lose by that much. He didn't have double the shots on target or anything, so I was a bit disappointed, but... As you can see, I'm wasting some bronze contracts there on Cesar Navas. And uh, we're going to go out and look for a backup striker because Oberfemi gets injured a lot. Emma Nike is the only one who uh, takes my fancy. That sounds a bit gay, but you know what I mean. He's the only one who looks like a decent striker. So I bring him in for Oberfemi. Switch off my console. Come back the very next day. And uh, I've got my friend Rick with me this time. Uh, not in the commentary, but actually playing the game with me. Uh, so, he we come up against the um, one of the strongest teams we've faced in this series so far. And this guy does the pause trick. As you can see, the blue and red there just indicating that I do play with a guest. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of playing with guests, to be honest. It was the first time I tried it in the Red's Glory. Uh, we've done it before, but on PS3, and it, it seems easier on PS3, I don't know why. Maybe it was just we weren't having a good day. Uh, but he over-celebrates with Neymar, which is a dick move and definitely a way to get me pissed off. Um, and at this point, I was like, right, let's get, get back into this. And a nice lob through ball to Emma Nike and Rick, who is playing as blue, I am red. Really tidy finish there. Nothing to complain about at all. I will take that finish uh, when we are down. Perhaps a nice goal if we were winning. But, you know, you'll take what you can get when you're losing. Here, this guy tries some passing from his free kick. He gets tackled by, I believe that was Juvenal. Uh, Emanike plays it to Magidi. Magidi with an absolutely wonderful pass to Emanike. And then Emanike pulls out the delicious chip. That was a really nice team goal uh, and an excellent finish. And we are going to over celebrate that goal to heck, believe it me. As I come up with the salmon, and Rick comes out with whatever that is the gay pose. <laughs> Look at the team, they're like over egging it, aren't they? And at this point we thought he'd rage quit, but he actually didn't. The game just started to lag. And it really annoys me when the game lags, because like, I've got a massive internet connection, it's amazing. and It's definitely just other people. And here this guy pauses it again, get, gets it from Podolski to Neymar, Neymar to John Moutinho. And that is almost lights out on us, we were pissed off at that point. Uh, but we will not give up. And you'll see again me using substitutions very soon to um to make a difference. I will bring on I believe Lago Junior, Guerrero, uh, and no, just Lago D Junior and Thiago Dutra for uh, Moa, the left wing, and um, Juvenal the centre mid. So just mixing it up a bit, getting some more skills in there, and. We get a goal kick, and from the goal kick, you'll see how much it's lagging now. It was a really tough time to play it. We head the ball from, um, sorry, from the kickoff, and Largo Jr. goes big with the f half volley. A really nice finish on his stronger foot. Uh, very nice volley indeed, and we were both very happy with that goal. It was a good goal. And <laughs> that will be the end of the episode. I really do hope you guys are enjoying this. We are near the end now. Oh, no, it was with his weak foot. Crikey. Uh, so please leave a like if you enjoyed. If we could get to 20 on this video, that would be amazing. My name is The Mighty Salmon. Thank you very much for watching, and good